Okay. You guys see down here, cold weather. It's not even that. It's 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 definitely not light snow. Sorry. Um, it's definitely very heavy snow that I'm going to have to go and shovel in a little bit, which is a bummer because um, my snow blower is broken and I procrastinated. Let that be a lesson to you. Don't, pro where's my finger? Don't procrastinate because then you might have to shovel like eight inches of snow with a broke shovel, right? Don't be that person. Don't be like me. Do your work when you need to do your work. Lesson learned. Okay, so uh, we've got a right we've got a right triangle here. Uh, I, I don't want to program you guys into robots, but at this point, hopefully you realize that <clears throat> when we see a right triangle, at least at this point, right, we've got two things that we can do. I was figure I'm gonna figure out how to get here. Two things: Pythagorean theorem to solve for the second side, or we're gonna write a trigonometric statement and then go from there, right? Our trigonometric statements all take the form of either sine, cosine, or tangent. They're based on an angle. In this case, here's the angle that we're going to use in our trigonometric statement. I can't do the Pythagorean theorem at this point because I have this unknown side and I have this unknown side. So I don't know two sides. Pythagorean theorem only helps me find one. So in this case, I'm starting in this angle. We know that we have to label these. This is the opposite side. We go to the box in the corner points at the hypotenuse. So this is the hypotenuse, which makes this the adjacent side. So we want to label our sides with their names. Okay. And just keep in mind that those names are relative to the angle that we're looking at. Okay. So because I realize I'm going to be using this 68 degree angle, that's the opposite side. So now I look at the information in this problem. I want to know what the opposite side is. I know what the adjacent side is. So I've got the O and I've got the A. Over here, the trigonometric statement that I'm going to write that involves the O and the A is a tangent statement. So I'm going to say the tangent, right? What do we, we have four parts. We have the name, we have the angle, we have the equal sign, and then we have the ratio, the opposite side over the adjacent side. Okay, now in a different video, I don't know if it comes before or after this sequence right now, to be honest, but I just recorded it. Okay, we had a situation where we had a trigonometric statement, the name, the angle, the equal sign, the fraction, but the variable was in the bottom. We solve for that variable by doing the switcheroo, where we take these and we swap them. We put the x over here, the cosine down here. Now this scenario is actually a little bit easier because this is just the standard X is being divided by 21 on the right side. So we have to multiply by 21. We're not doing the switcheroo here. Okay. We're multiplying by 21 because that's what's going to eliminate this. And that's what's going to give me X all alone, which is the goal when we're solving here. Now, what about the left side? The more trigonometry we do as we go along, I'll be saying, you know, you have to see, you, you have to train your brain to see a statement like this as representing a single value. So really what I'm doing is multiplying 21 times this number, not the 68, but the tangent of 68, right? And, and we're, we're definitely gonna go to the calculator for this, okay? And we can literally just type that in exactly how it shows up, 21 tan 68. Now. I showed this in, the, in a different video. I probably should have done it here again. Please, 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 please make sure when you're doing this, you click the wrench. When you open a Desmos window, click the wrench. Because I already did this in a previous video. I turned it into degree mode. When you open a Desmos window, let's just demo it real quick. Okay. If I start a new Desmos window, as soon as I open that, I click the wrench, it's going to be in radian mode down here. That's bad. We want it to be in degree mode. So we click there. And then we can type 21 tan 68. So we get, we'll call that, we're actually going to call that 52. So we come back to here. We get this ugly mug out of the way. And we say X is approximate. Oops. X is approximately 52.0 or 52. 
Okay. So there you go. Writing a trigonometric statement, solving for x however is necessary. Either the switcheroo or multiplying both sides by that number.